Isoko Wado. Isoko Wado. Yeah. Aha. Wadielu. No, Wado Zies Yetine. Le Marwe se teme. E Wariefano. Matatiha. E Valdenubo. Me ambassador. E le beloke. E lourwa. Je bo. E wogo. Uwe mo. I soko evele. I soko ile. I soko je be. E bi soko. Me nyazi nona. Please. Let us try to do. A little more. Before. The night comes in. Ma dauma uomo jo tauri. Ok, nene, utesi bom. Ivie, ma dauma uomo jo. Remember, the use of the word ivie, the word ivie means please. Ivie also means breasts. Of course. By yesterday, we mentioned it, that breast is part of the body of humans and animals. As for some other parts of the body that we did not mention yesterday, please listen and learn how we shall be using them in conjunction with the word Evie, please. Evie, we shall also combine the words wash, which means to clean up. Wose, wose, wose. Not weze as in sleep, but wose as in washing and some related words for wash or clean as the case may be now let's start our normal practice Evie, please now let's say please come and wash your fingernails. In the soko we say, Ivie nyaze teweze i beituabora i beituabo fingernails i beituabora. Please for Ivie Ivie. Come for nyaze, nyaze, woze for wash. It be to finger nails, finger nails. We can equally say evie, please, nya, eweze. Please, nya go, weze, wash your fingernails. Ibetuabora, ra for your. Can you practice this for a while? Nya ze teweze. It be to a bora. Hayo or Hayo or go wash your finger nails. We can equally say your the nails, the long nails of your foot or the long of your toes, the nails. 
the long nails of your toes. It may twow. This time it may twow. Not it may it Let me see. Can I bring my oh this is it may twow. May twow. Something like this. So that is it. It may twow. La yo be travel so there we are nyaze sometimes your cleaning or washing might have to do with using razor blade to remove the fingernails so in this case we say nyai nyai be nyai be Go and remove the long nails, your fingernails with a blade, as if you have to use the blade to remove them. Good. Um, when it comes to that, we say be. You are not washing this time. You are cleaning by removing them. So you say, be, as if you are peeling, like we said the other day, peeling the peels of, of from a, an orange fruit. Peel. So, be, that's it. That's the word we use. Be. Me be nyai for it be twa bome. This time you are scrubbing or scraping. You want to make them look neater and cleaner. And so you say, me be nyai for. 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 You use something to scrape. Uh, yes, yeah, scrape it. So in that case, we be for. Remember these words, uh, verbs as you may call them in English. For, be, rese. Mm -hmm. uh, let us see. We want to remember, please, that your very rich, very, very rich Soko language does not permit the use of woze. Quit means wash for clothing materials. Instead, we use the word for, which means intensive washing. Intensive washing. For. So, we use the word for washing, especially for clothing. Uh -huh made of fabrics yet we use the word Rose for kitchen utensils such as pots plates spoons uh -huh. so we use these ones where we talk about pots in Isoko we call pots Ugo. When they are iron pots, we say uguero or ebero. Ugo pots. We have them in different shapes for different uh, use. So, uguizuo soup pot. Uguizuo uguegu fufu pot. Uwozi pot for making starch. Uwigeri pot for frying gari and so on and so forth. Uwezuo Uwegeri Uwegu Uwero Ebero and so on and so forth. 
So in that case, we wash. We use the word wash for such kitchen utensils. Plates. The so-called word for plate is afere, afere, or omode, pot, uwo, spoon, spoon, ugeji, and uh, all these we use soap, soap, oda, water, ame, and sponge, sponge, uzi, to do the washing. Uzi. The Isoko rich vocabulary also only permit the use of fa, 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 which means wash, but this time with hard brush, iron brush, strong sponge, sand, soap, and water, as when washing wooden furnitures yes e.g. dirty tables and chairs fa wash for wooden chairs woze wash for kitchen utensils foro wash for fabric materials Clothing, rose wash as when washing the floor of your house. Fa as if wash, uh, washing or scrubbing the uh, 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 that's wooden um, um, materials, wooden furnitures. Rose rose wash for our body parts but ho ho nyai ho as if you go to the bedroom to bathe your whole body fa to brush your teeth and so on please remember to use these words as they apply otherwise the soko uh, will not be understood by those who hear it from you ule mora ebelera ine na hokena wadi soko fo wabo today soko wado